February 4th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Mark chapter 7 from the New Testament. Now the Pharisees and some of the experts in the law who came from Jerusalem gathered around him, and they saw that some of Jesus' disciples ate their bread with unclean hands, that is, unwashed. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they perform a ritual washing, holding fast to the tradition of the elders. And when they come from the marketplace, they do not eat unless they wash. They hold fast to many other traditions, the washing of cups, pots, kettles, and dining couches. The Pharisees and the experts in the law ask him, Why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with unwashed hands? He said to them, Isaiah prophesies correctly about you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. They worship me in vain, teaching as doctrine the commandments of men. Having no regard for the command of God, you hold fast to human tradition. He also said to them, You neatly reject the commandment of God in order to set up your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever insults his father or mother must be put to death. But you say that if anyone tells his father or mother, Whatever help you would have received from me as Corban, that is, a gift for God, then you no longer permit him to do anything for his father or mother. Thus you nullify the word of God by your tradition that you have handed down, and you do many things like this. Then he called the crowd again and said to them, Listen to me, everyone, and understand, there is nothing outside of a person that can defile him by going into him. Rather, it is what comes out of a person that defiles him. Now when Jesus had left the crowd and entered the house, his disciples asked him about the parable. He said to them, Are you so foolish? Don't you understand that whatever goes into a person from outside cannot defile him? For it does not enter his heart, but his stomach, and then goes out into the sewer. This means all foods are clean. He said, What comes out of a person defiles him. For from within, out of the human heart, come evil ideas, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, evil, deceit, debauchery, envy, slander, pride, and folly. All these evils come from within and defile a person. After Jesus left there, he went to the region of Tyre. When he went into a house, he did not want anyone to know, but he was not able to escape notice. Instead, a woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit immediately heard about him and came and fell at his feet. The woman was Greek, of Syrophoenician origin. She asked him to cast the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, Let the dogs be satisfied first, for it is not right to take the children's bread and to throw it to the dogs. She answered, Yes, Lord, but even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he said to her, Because you have said this, you may go. The demon has left your daughter. She went home and found the child lying on the bed, and the demon gone. Then Jesus went out again from the region of Tyre and came through Sidon to the Sea of Galilee in the region of the Decapolis. They brought to him a deaf man who had difficulty speaking and they asked him to place his hands on him. After Jesus took him aside privately away from the crowd, he put his fingers in the man's ears and after spitting he touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and said with a sigh, Ephathath, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened, his tongue loosened, and he spoke plainly. Jesus ordered them not to tell anything, but as much as he ordered them not to do this, they proclaimed it all the more. People were completely astounded and said, He has done everything well. He even makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. God, help us today to not hold on to our traditions and our rituals, but instead hold on to the hope that we have in you. I find myself sometimes focusing on the routine rather than what it is that I'm actually doing, meaning having Bible study at the same time every day. That's not a bad thing. In fact, it helps uh, with the discipline of studying your word. But then not just having it be at 10 o'clock in the morning, it's Bible study time, 
but have it be very intentional that that is a time to focus on you, to look you right in the eyes, to talk to you, to listen more importantly to you. Just like you would any other relationship that was important to you. I also think about our ritual of going to church every Sunday. Not saying we shouldn't go to church, but every Sunday, get in the car, drive, go to church at 9 o'clock, attend service, leave. But the actual going to church holds incredible significance as to what church should be, what it should look like, uh, what we should do there and what we should receive from it. But sometimes the prayers are really fast, almost memorized. The songs are done um, blandly. Just sometimes it's like it's phoned in faith. So today, God, help me be intentional that if I do have my 10 o'clock meeting with you and my 3 o'clock meeting with one of the youth kids and coffee with somebody at 5 o'clock, Allow those to not just become rituals, uh, things that I do because I'm, I'm supposed to as, as a Christian or as a nice person. But have me just be really intentional and focused in those, those moments. Set aside everything else. Turn off all the distractions. Uh, and set aside time just for you and I to be very intentional with your word and growing in that relationship. Really intentional with the, the young adult from, from youth group. Uh, who just really wants to talk and just wants somebody to listen to them and pray with them. Or the friend who is just really struggling with some things and really needs you to be compassionate instead of judgmental. God, I ask you today to help me with, instead of having a checklist of appointments and times, that instead I, I treat all of those times as relationships, as opportunities to get to know you better and get to know your people better and not just something to process and go through and be ritualistic about. Thank you, God. In your son's name we pray. Amen.